Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Hyundai Engine 2.4 GDI engine guys. It has been used in multiple Hyundai and Kia vehicles and if you have check engine light on and any of the following codes such as code P0340, 341, 342, 343 or 344, stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it, everything from start to finish guys. Now, uh, let me tell you a little bit about us, every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos, for instance that engine will be taken completely apart and teach you how to do almost anything on it, why we do all that, simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. If you need to buy any parts, tools, and you want to save quite a bit of money guys, and quick shipping as well, get a quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our supplies and tools from. With that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. That's the whole okay engine transmission everything 2.4 gdi engine as you can see and uh, before we continue uh, many of you have been asking us actually lately in the comment section below to give more information about the scanner that we use so we decided to share that with you we'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features but it works on hyundai kia and almost any car you can think of and it's a scanner that can pay itself off in practically one time years in order to fix these codes grab the engine cover and pull it straight up okay that touches the four posts right here as you can see now you guys have a 16 valve engine four cylinder engine two camshafts as well intake camshaft exhaust camshaft now the codes that we have relate guys to actually having problems with the intake camshaft position sensor so if you look at that wiring harness okay right here okay it will go right there you have that sensor that sensor detects the position of the intake camshaft and you have one on the back side that's for the exhaust camshaft uh, the engine needs that to do the timing it has variable timing fuel injection okay ignition and all that stuff so it needs to know the exact position of the camshafts at any okay any second practically so and even multiple times per second so if you have any of these codes what it indicates it indicates that you may have broken wiring harness okay make sure the wires are not broken not cut sometimes let's say mice rodents in the winter time try to find a hot spot and they may come here and chew on them number two make sure that the connector is plugged in okay all the way make sure that you hear a nice click okay it's plugged in number three make sure the wires are not pulled from the back side of the connector number four inspect that you don't have terrible oil leaks from the valve cover that contaminated the connector and the sensor that could happen as well and number five it's very likely that you have a bad camshaft position sensor and if that's the case we have a special video that explains how to test camshaft position sensor and uh, actually how to replace it as well on our channel so please check it out now uh, hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to find this information thank you for watching and see you guys next time